Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Bappi Hamid. So guys, in this video, we'll be learning another very interesting computer vision technique called auto image annotation for image segmentation. So as of now, we saw how we can uh, perform the auto image annotation Okay, for the object detection task. So I think I created one video on my YouTube channel. Let me show you. So recently I created one video. See, automatic data labeling using Microsoft Florence 2 vision multi-model. So there actually I showed you how you can annotate that means how we can perform auto and auto annotation okay with the help of this multi-model microsoft multi-model called florence 2 okay but many people uh, were asking me sir how we can do it for the image segmentation let's say if i want to create an image segmentation model for this actually i need image segmentation data and if you see uh, annotating image segmentation data is very much difficult because there you have to create a polygon box but whenever i'm talking about object detection there you have to create the bounding box okay but creating polygon box is like very time taking task even it is like more costly task so here you need a bigger team to annotate your data let's see what having lacks of image so that time you need a very big team to complete the annotation but today i'm going to show you one uh, amazing technique you can uh, follow uh, to annotate these kinds of data and if you don't want to annotate your data guys what you can do you can uh, uh, refer one website called roboflow okay so let me show you see roboflow roboflow.com so roboflow uh, actually provides lots of computer vision related let's say tools and technology so you can use them okay in your let's say project implementation so see roboflow has one product called universe so let me open the universe so universe is a actually open source uh actually platform so they are actually will get uh any kinds of let's say computer vision related data let's say you want to perform object detection you want to perform image segmentation classification key point detection all kinds of data are available let me show you so explore universe see this is the universe platform now here you can search any kinds of data. Let's say you need license plate data, you need object detection data, classification, retention, segmentation data. Anything you can search here, all kinds of data are available. And this is already annotated data, guys. You don't need to annotate these other data. Only you just need to use them. See, let's say I want to use this uh, one, license plate recognition, this data. I'll just click here. Now what I will do, I'll just download the project. Then I'll uh, click on download the data set. Now here you can select the format you want to download. Let's say I want to download ELO V9 format. Simply. Uh, you can download as a zip file either you can also download through the code snippet okay it is also possible so in my youtube channel i already created uh, lots of tutorial regarding that like how we can use roboflow universe even i also showed you how we can perform data annotation with the help of roboflow platform there also you can perform let's say uh object detection data annotation image segmentation data annotation everything you can perform here fine so first of all try to find in the roboflow universe let's say you need image segmentation data simply just search segmentation instant segmentation i can search here now we'll see all kinds of segmentation data are available okay you can download as per your requirement and you can use it but let's say somehow you have to annotate your data then what you can perform so in this video i'll tell you how we can perform the auto annotation okay with with the help of one amazing model from the meta ai let me show you so the model name is segment anything okay sam you can see segment anything model sam so this is a new ai model for the meta ai okay from the meta ai that can cut out any object in an image with a single click that means uh this model can let's say uh, do the segmentation auto say uh, image segmentation that means it can select any kinds of object from an image okay that means it can create the complete mask okay mask on top of the image and this is from actually meta ai research so they have developed this particular model and they name it as sam okay segment anything model okay so you can visit their website guys sam anything.com so all the examples see all the example they have given here even you can also perform this on the video as well see this is the results amazing result guys see okay so one amazing model actually they have developed now let's try to see how we can use this sam model for this what i have done guys i have uh, created one collab notebook for you so this is the notebook so first of all let me connect this notebook make sure you have selected gpu as a runtime so i already selected for this just click on runtime say change runtime time and select the gpu so now let me connect the notebook so here first of all i'll be uploading some image so what i can do i can create a folder i'll be naming as images okay so inside that i'm going to upload image so I'm having two image actually. Let me upload. I just downloaded this image from the RoboFlow. See this dog and dog two image actually I'm having. Okay. See this is the dog image. And this is another dog image I'm having. As of now I'm taking only two image example. But if you want to perform the annotation or annotation you can take uh, like so many image here. Okay. Just to show you I'm using two image here. Now let me first of all show you whether i got gpu or not for this you can execute this command okay see i got gpu uh, uh, a100 gpu because i'm using because here i'm using collab pro that's why this gpu i got now see recently what 
actually alternate is done they integrated the sam model with their package so i think you already know what is alternatives okay so alternatives is a actually a framework with the help of that you can perform lots of computer vision related tasks that means all kinds of yellow model you will also get inside alternatives okay so they already actually integrated this sam model inside alternatives so let me install alternatives so we'll be using alternatives to access this sam model and it's like very easy if you're using alternatives only you just need to define the model give your data and you will get the results now let's import the analytics. Now see, it is having actually two kinds of model. One is like SAM L model. This is the large model and SAM B model. This is the base model. Okay. So first of all, let's take the base model, SAM B dot PT. So this is the model and this uh, alternatives will automatically download this model from the internet. Okay. You don't need to manually download. So here you can see I'm importing SAM from alternatives dot bit. Okay. Now here I'm giving the prediction images. Now you can see inside images, I'm having one image called dog dot JPG. Okay. So this is the image actually I'm getting. Now see if I execute the program, what will happen? Let's see the magic guys. It is like amazing model. Even I liked a lot this model. Just see the performance of the model guys. Okay. Now see guys, execution is done and here I got the result. See, it has performed the masking operation. Now you can see this is the complete image array. This is the label it has also given me. Now see, this is actually numerical representation, but if you want to see the visualization, what you can do, refresh here. You will see one uh, folder has created called runs, open it up, segment, inside that prediction and this is your final prediction guys and see the results amazing okay see amazingly it has performed the segmentation that that means it has created the mask see complete mask it has created got it it is amazing guys amazing actually model they have created this meta ai now we'll be using this technique to uh, perform the auto annotation okay auto let's say uh, this uh, masking that means if i want to let's say train one image segmentation model how we can annotate our data instead of manually annotating the data okay so let me close it now you can also perform the same thing on top of a video so what i can do i can upload one video here so let me upload one video so i'll create a video folder here inside that i'm having one video let me upload quickly guys so first of all let me play the video so this is the video guys i'm having so some kids are actually uh, you can see playing so let's upload this video inside video i'm going to upload this video okay see it has uploaded now if you want to perform on the video just give the video location here that's it and device is equal to zero that means you want to utilize your gpu here now see if i execute now it will take all the frame one by one first of all it will see like how many frame you are having okay so here i got one error okay it should be video not videos okay so that's why it's giving me the error now let me execute now see First of all, it will see how many frame actually this image, uh, video is having. It is having 354 frame. So it will take all the frame one by one and it will perform the segmentation on top of it. Okay. So I already performed the segmentation guys. Let me show you. So this is the video actually result video I got. So let me play it. See guys, this is the result actually I got. And, and see guys, this is happening on video and see it is pretty good. It's pretty good. It's trying to segment any uh, everything. Okay. In the room, actually you can see not the person it is trying to segment everything present in the room. So this is the result. So as of now, what I can do, I can uh, stop the execution because after executing it in the runs folder, you will see another uh, folder would be created inside predicted to you will get the, okay, you will get the MP4. That means the, this, this, this should be your final uh, actually video. Now you have to download it. After that, you will see that results. Okay. So it will take time. What I will do, I'll stop it as of now because I already showed you the output. Okay. Now you can ask me how I can perform on real time camera let's say if i want to uh, open my web camera then how we can perform for this you can use this one this code so here you can pass this uh see instead of giving any kinds of image and video location you have to give zero zero means you want to access your camera and make sure you are running from your local machine you are running from your local jupyter notebook or visual code studio because if you're running from collab collab can't access your camera because collab is running on the remote server got it so make sure whenever you are executing this line, you are running everything in your local machine. You have to set up everything in your local machine. And how to set up GPU in your local machine? For this, I also created one video, guys. Let me show you. See, set up NVIDIA GPU for deep learning. So here I showed you how we can uh, install all the NVIDIA related, let's say, toolkit, okay, to access your GPU. So this video you can refer, first of all, set up GPU in your system, then try to perform it. You can also run it on your CPU. It will work, but CPU actually inference would be a little bit slow. Got it. Now I'm going to... Now here, I'm not going to run this cell because I'm running this code on my Google Colab right now. Now let's generate actually segmentation data using detection model. Okay, now see, if you want to actually generate this uh, annotation, that means your uh, 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 segmentation annotation. So first of all, you have to use one detection model. So detection model wise, I'll be using YOLO V8 model. Why you have to use detection model? See, first of all, what will happen? Let's say 
this is your image okay let's say this is your image inside image let's see you are having one person okay you are having one person so before applying the segmentation what you have to do let's say you are having multiple person in this image okay so first of all you will be applying detection model to detect any object in present in the, in the image actually because what happens sam model doesn't have any kinds of label name okay it doesn't have any kinds of label name it will only do the masking let's say it has done the masking on this person but it doesn't know it is a person but how i'll get the label i will get the label from the detection model we'll apply detection model on top of it okay detection model will give me this is a person class it's a person class and this detection will go to the sam model right now only this part will go to the sam model and sam model will do the masking operation on top of it that's it it will do the masking operation okay and this annotation file that means this uh, whatever mask it has created this annotation file would be saved in a txt file okay txt file and this is going to be my annotation file okay and this annotation file you can use for the model training later on so this is the complete idea got it very simple now let me show you how we can perform it so uh, you can see uh, i'm importing auto annotate from alternatives yolo data annotator okay so it is already created one function for the data annotation inside that i'm giving my image location see you have to give the complete image folder location then you have to give the detection model here i am using yolo v8 okay for the detection model and you have to pass the sam model as well i'm using the base model now see what happens if i go to the alternatives package so they have created one actually function i told you auto annotate let me show you so inside yolo alternatives sorry inside alternatives inside for alternatives folder now inside actually data annotator see this is the function they have created auto annotate so here actually they are loading the detection model as well as the sam model you can see after that uh, you can see they are performing the detection and whatever detection they are getting they are performing the segmentation on top of it with the help of sam model you can see sam model okay they are using sam model and whatever let's say annotation file they are getting they are saving as a txt file here okay so you can see it is opening a txt file so now let me show you so let me execute this code okay now let me refresh now see in they, it will create a label folder inside label folder you will get all the txt files see this is the segmentation annotation this is the polygon boxes guys okay polygon boxes and this is another one okay now what you can do you can download this image is as well as you can download the label and you can train one segmentation model okay amazing it's amazing guys got it now this is the complete code that code guys i've just copy pasted just to show you what they are doing you can see this is the auto annotate function so inside that you can see they are loading the detection model as the, as the segmentation model then after that they're uh, looping through the frame uh, that means video frame or image frame or let's say video uh, uh, camera frame and they're performing the detection and detection actually they are passing to the you can see this is the sam model sam model uh see here uh, inside the sam model sam model will create the mask after that it will save that detection file that's it okay very simple guys you can use this uh, sam model to perform the auto annotation right now got it so this uh, notebook would be shared guys in the description section from there you can download and if you like my content guys please try to subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends and family with that thank you so much for watching this video and i will see you next time